This year marks the 60th anniversary of the world's most famous monster, and in this epic action adventure, he takes on some very fierce creatures. This episode of Movie Moment looks at Godzilla. We all know the story of Godzilla. It's basically the story of man versus nature. And Godzilla is basically the nature part. Gareth Edwards has described his Godzilla in this movie as more of an anti-hero. He's out there to protect us, but nobody really knows that. And this Godzilla in this film was 350 feet tall, which is basically the tallest Godzilla in any film to date. So Gabriel, what did you think of Godzilla? I thought it was pretty boring actually. It was uh, not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. I was more expecting Godzilla to be more of a good guy than a bad guy. And it was mostly supposed to be Japanese orientated and it was more American orientated. I wasn't really too happy with that. Now you were telling me you didn't even really want to see Godzilla because you're a huge fan of the original movies. I was a huge fan of the original movies but when I was a child and growing up, like Godzilla vs. King Kong and all that. But now it's, it's completely different. I mean with the CGI, I was expecting them to really change it up. But I decided to go see it anyway just to check it out, but it really wasn't how I expected. I actually wanted to see all the explosions in the action. It looked cool. So what did you think of Godzilla? It was awesome. What did you think of Godzilla? I think it was really cool because there was a lot of explosions and stuff. There are 960 visual effects used in this movie, and 327 of them are all Godzilla. I would not be asking any one of you to take this leap if I did not have complete faith in your ability to succeed. I walked into this movie with some very high expectations, and maybe that's why I was a little bit disappointed with this film. Too much of this movie was about character development and getting us used to the characters. And too little of the film, actually maybe like the last half hour was actually action packed and you got to see Godzilla. So I would say the movie's okay and anyone that's a fan of Godzilla should come down and see it, but don't come in with too high of expectations. For your movie moment, I'm Joanne Bluen. This episode of the Movie Moment was brought to you by Skechers, my choice of shoes for the summer.